The LA River is a popular recreational spot for many Angelinos. It runs from the San Fernando Valley to Long Beach. Yeah, and tonight's look at this guy, Cal's Desmond Shaw, has the history behind the 51 mile long river. Well, I'll take a look at all this water. It's all in the Los Angeles River, and we're over the section that runs along the 5 Freeway from Glendale to Lincoln Heights, looking on a particularly soggy day in Los Angeles, which is transformed, what's sometimes the butt of jokes in other major cities, to a real raging river. Running about 51 miles from the San Fernando Valley to the Pacific Ocean in Long Beach, it originates right by Canoga Park High School, where the Bell Creek and the Arroyo Calabasas meet. Up until 1913, it was the primary source of water for L.A. and was extremely important to all the Native Americans who called this area home. The Tongva called it Paeme Paksayat, which means Western River. They had dozens of villages along the river between the San Fernando and Elysian Valleys. Up until the 1930s, it was also a particularly wild and dangerous river. Wintertime often brought flooding and unpredictable course changes. There are several very destructive and deadly floods in the 1800s, but the worst was in 1938 when a pair of storms produced about a year's worth of rain in just a couple days. More than 100 people killed, more than 5,000 homes destroyed in that flood. So the Army Corps of Engineers stepped in to finally tame the LA River by creating the banks that you see today and channelizing almost the entire river in concrete. Several other very important dams were also built, like the Sepulveda Dam and some debris catch basins also constructed, and the massive projects worked. Los Angeles has not had any major flooding issues since, but for decades after that, the LA River kind of seemed to be an ugly and polluted afterthought. Now, the Tillman Water Treatment Plant and the Sepulveda Flood Basin helped address a lot of the pollution when it was completed in 1984, and then a decade later, the city conceptualized a grand vision to add bicycle and pedestrian lanes along the entire stretch of the river. The section here paralleling the five open in pieces between 1997 and 2010. LA Metro is also working to address the biggest gap between downtown Los Angeles and Maywood. When that seven-mile section is completed, you'll be able to bike from Glendale all the way to Long Beach without vying for space with cars. Over the last decade, a lot of wildlife habitat restoration has also taken place in several vital sections to create healthy homes for birds and fish. You may even find people kayaking on some stretches of the river in the springtime, something that would have been unheard of 25 years ago. Far from the most beautiful river in America, but indelibly linked to the city's history and identity, and finally being appreciated as a lot more than just a flood control project, the 51-mile-long Los Angeles River. Taking a look at this from SkyCal, I'm Desmond Shaw. And if you'd like Desmond to take a look at something interesting in your neighborhood, email us at lookatthis at cbs.com.